with adding a client's website that already existed um, to Cloudflare off the site ground switch to the new panel. So full disclosure, this was fixed through um, someone but had the site ground support stuff, but uh, I did ask them to actually share um, the little trick that they did to make the message go away. Now let me explain the issue. When you add your site to Cloudflare, you get these random, I'm just gonna deactivate it just for fun. So let's say I deactivate, right? Confirm, right? So I deactivated. So now I'm gonna say, basically you select the site, right? That was my temporary domain there. So I'm, I'm selecting the right one where the site currently is. And I say activate free. It already knows my account because I've done this like a million times. So let's see what happens. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice it's going to take a while, but it should actually. Uh, okay, it started giving me the same errors as before. So let me just show you. <coughs> the <coughs> The DNS error goes away in about 24 hours. Sorry for the cough, it is winter now. So this error goes away after like 24 hours. Now, I have the error now because I did it. I did a deactivate and activate again. So I have to wait for 24 hours. But there's also another error that says something about your site should be redirected to www. Let me um, find the error on the internet like I found um, yesterday because I can't actually show you that error now that I fixed or the support basically fixed the um, error. So let me see if I can uh, cloud flare. Oh. And I know that this issue is only for the panel, um, the new panel because to be honest, um, I still have the old panel. This is a client's website that I'm using as an example, but um, that has the new panel, but I uh, know that in the old one, everything is still fine. So when I say old one, I mean the one with the um, old C panel. So um, what was the error message? Cloudflare, something or other with SiteGround. Cloudflare. Site round errors. Let me see if I can. Ah, there it is. DNS check failed. That's what I was looking at. That's basically the one that I have, but there's, there's another message as well. Like there's a DNS one, and the other one says something about SSL that's not work. Uh, WW is redirected properly. Now, what they, what they told me to do. This error, I'm sure, disappears after 24 hours because basically, as long as you've got the tick, like you have to be sure. I'm going to deactivate it again just to show you. You have to be sure that the tick here is ticked. If this isn't ticked, then you're going to have another message saying that it's not redirected to WW or something else. But anyway, let's just say activate free for now. Okay. And. That message will go away in 24 hours from now. The message is going to be about me not doing the C names. And the other thing you need to do is, other than go back and be here, you need to make sure that you've set the account to full strict because assuming that you've already generated a Let's Encrypt certificate, which I think, um, which I had on the site. So make sure that you've set this to full strict. That's one thing. Now, the other thing that they did tell me to do, which was weird because to be honest, it was already set in WordPress, but I did it and they did it or whatever and it worked. So I'm just showing it here, which is not normal in my opinion, because we didn't used to have to do this, but let's just, let me just go to I don't remember where the file manager is. Yeah, I guess it's here somewhere. Yeah. So what they did tell me to do was something we usually do when we have problems with um, websites. Now they did mention that it might be a plugin or something, but I don't, I don't get that because it's the same plugin for the site that existed before where everything was working. So I don't really know what they're talking about. 
uh, they said that there might be a plugin that's forcing uh, non-secure redirects or something stupid. I don't know what it is. But let me just code it in the new editor here. So most of these already existed. What they added, as you can tell, they, they commented it. Basically, you're going to have to change the URLs. But what they added was this. They did a 301 from non-www to www. Remember, you have to change the URLs. You can't use the one that I'm showing here because your domain name is obviously different. So that's the first thing they did. And the next thing that they told me that they did after this worked, right, was that in my WP config file, they added line 67. They added these two lines. We usually do this before we transfer domains and we want to uh, set the actual URL. Although these were already set exactly like this in my general settings, I have no idea why it was necessary to do that. I, in my opinion, consider that it shouldn't be necessary. And the support person actually said that he checked my database and that my URLs were all uh, fine and everything was actually working. For some reason, he had to do this. I use, um, what's it called now again? Um, all in one WP migration and it always works. It's just with this new panel, it seems that although this was set, for some reason he had to come and define these variables, which is weird, but okay. <clears throat> Basically, that's it. As soon as this was set, uh, after, as you saw in the beginning, oh, it's actually active already. So yeah, I think it's switched. Let's see. Maybe I have a old page from when it was active. Let's see. Or maybe it just activated itself after everything was done. After like a while, after like two minutes. Let's see. Is that an old page or... Is it now active? Yay, it's active. So that is basically it. I don't know why that's necessary. I don't understand the reasoning to why I needed to do a 301 redirect or set the define home and define site URLs. I don't understand why. It's just weird. But that is the solution. I'm going to try and demo my um, passwords at the end of this video, assuming I can actually edit it, but that's the solution.